Hi, welcome to Algebra Basics, in which I'll show Hypixel Skyblock players how to do algebra. So, if you're probably watching this, you're probably watching for, I guess, fun, or it's because you're in elementary or middle school. But I really doubt that you're in elementary or middle school, but I wouldn't be surprised since Hypixel does appeal to a much younger audience. But I won't really be going too much into all the funny game jokes or anything. I'm What I'm doing here is to really actually teach you Hypixel Skyblock players real algebra. But I will be using some um, Hypixel Skyblock examples left and right just to keep you guys um, there and not just clicking off, you know, because I'm pretty bad at teaching. This is my first video after all, so I'd be open to any suggestions. So, algebra. Algebra is basically the study of mathematics in which variables or letters represent numbers and you basically have to solve for those letters. So, let's go into how an algebraic equation is laid out and how we can solve them. So, table is... And so first off, what is an equation? That's what we're going to get into right now. Algebraic equation consists of a variable, a constant, and I guess the results, but we don't really have a term for that. And in a general sense, it's also composed of an expression and the whole equation. So to start off, you might be asking, what is the difference between an equation and an expression? An expression contains um, all like a bunch of terms without an equ uh, equal sign. So you'll be asked to simplify or evaluate, but you won't be asked to solve for anything. Whereas in an equation, you'll have an equal sign showing balance. And in an algebraic equation, of course, we have a variable or a letter that stores or represents a number, a constant, which is not a variable, which is any other remaining number. And yeah. So try to solve this. Um, I'll give you a little bit of time. Um, so I mean, it's pretty easy, right? It's 12. And we can say that x is equal to 12. And that's how we would express our answer. But you might be thinking, well, this is really simple, isn't it? But it's not too simple as in if you want to explain how all of it works, I guess. So let's go into that. But first of all, we have to learn what are key, oops, key terms. I mean, sorry. What are like terms? Yeah, so what are like terms? Like terms are categories of terms. So terms, in this case, are any um, individually or independently standing, I guess, uh, digits. So um, let's start off with x versus 10. What's the difference between the x and the 10? I mean, of course, they're variables and constants, but it's not like you can really add them together. Of course, you can add them together as an expression, but you can't really mash them into one number. It's not like you can just get 10x. For example, you have five enchanted blaze rods and five, and sorry, uh, yeah, five ender pearls. So you can't just mash them into 10 enchanted pearl ender whatevers. That's because they don't stack, right? You can't just stack two non-items. I mean, non-similar non items. So uh, we have to express them as an expression, I guess. And so let's go into now. 
solving equations. Oops, okay. Sorry if I'm not neat here. So, how to solve them? Well, let's go into the basics. The basics are that we have to, or I guess the general rule of, th rule of thumb is to have this variable as a single digit or, or single um, thing. So, basically, by the end, we have to have it isolated by itself on one side versus a single number on the other side. And it has to um, basically represent that value like we have over here. So for example, let's have 5x is equal to 20. By the end, we have to have x is equal to something. But how do we explain that? So it's pretty easy. You really just have to do the opposite to isolate this x on both sides. So we get x equals 4. And keep in mind that there's no 1 here, but there really is a 1 here. It's just um, we don't really write a 1 because we already know it's multiplied by 1, you know? Um, so let's go into four, I guess, basic types of these. And I'll be going into more, um, I guess, steps later. But... Right now, we're just going to learn one step. Equations. Um, I'll definitely go uh, in further in another video, but since this is just the basics, um, let's start off with x plus 2, 10, minus 2 equals 10, and 2x is equal to 10, and x over 2 equals 10. So think about it. You could probably do all of these in your head, but that's not what we're after. We're after showing all the work and then getting everything. And that's probably what all of your teachers want or have wanted if you're just reviewing a video. So, opposite. We have to do it on both sides. The reason why we have to do it on both sides is so that both sides are balanced. So, for example, we have... A balance, a scale, I mean. We have two apples on both sides of the scale. If we take out one apple, the scale won't be balanced anymore. It will be um, going up in the favor of one side. So kind of the same case here. We have to do it on both sides or it won't really represent the true x value. And so once you do it, x is equal to 8. And so you might be thinking, okay, so you just need to add here, right? And yeah, you do need to add there. That's really it. Basically, x minus 2 plus 2 is x plus 0, right? And 10 plus 2 is, of course, 12. And now we get into weirder territory, but we can probably solve it really easily. 2x is equal to 10. You can easily solve that by just dividing by 2 on both sides. Because if you have 2x's and you divide that by 2, you basically just get 1x. And here, when x is being divided by 2, 2 is in the denominator, you just need to multiply by 2 to basically have the same effect as um, the one before. And you multiply on the other side just to balance it, you get x is equal to 20. So, to review, we want to subtract when there's adding, we want to add when there's subtracting, we want to divide when there's multiplying, and we want to multiply when there's dividing. So, just basically the opposite of every operation. If that's how you want to think about it. So I'll go into some examples. Okay, so here we have a lot of um, examples. Let's say we have 2e is equal to 10. Oh, by the way, this doesn't represent the uh, answer. This just represents what e means as of now. 
So, 2e equals 10. Let's say a Zella farmer gets two summoning eyes um, per hour. And e, since it represents hours. And we want to have 10 by the end of the session. How many hours would the Zealot grinder need to grind to have 10 summoning eyes at the end of the session? So since we dropped two eyes, we want to express this in our own work. Wait, before you do this in your head, I want you to pause, grab a sheet of paper, and solve this out. Okay, I'm gonna start solving. So you divide by 2 on both sides. And if you got E equals 5, or 5 hours in this case, then you're right. Otherwise, I'm either explaining something wrong, or you're just not reviewing good enough. <laughs> so, X. Um, X is a total profit that um, a co-op of 3 gets from, say, auction flipping. And each one of them wants to have 72 million coins. And let's just say, I mean, X is a total profit in millions then. And so, since they want 72 mil each, what's the X value, the total profits that they've reaped? And so, pause the video here. Okay, so if you got 216 by the end, you're correct. The reason is because you have to multiply by 3 on both sides so that you can isolate this x by removing both the 3s. If you have 3x's and you divide those 3x's by 3, then you get 1x. So you get 1x is equal to 216 since you also multiply by the 72 by 3. And now the last one. Oops, f is equal to frags. <clears throat> Let's say uh, an, an ember armor user wanted a set of ember armor. And let's say he needed 24 fragments, but he only has 12. And F represents the number that he needs. And you want to express this in your own work. I mean, you could do this in your head, as I've said before, but try to do it in your own work. Okay, so pause now. So if you got an F is equal to 12, you're right. Let me know what kind of video you guys would want next. This video was a more algebra, math based video, but I do have a little bit of skyblock knowledge under my belt, so I could go into a video about auction flipping as well. Hope you enjoyed.